Remote Release Lift Hitch. Two versions. Read the description with regards to the dangers of using this knot. This is version one of the remote release lift hitch and this version is less secure than the next one. So do read the description with regards to safety of this particular knot. Right, the first thing we're going to do is we get hold of our working end and I'm just gonna pull enough through to actually tie the knot itself. Now that we've done that, I'm then going to get hold of my rope at this point here and just fold it over so it goes round like so and you see, see just at this point here we've formed a loop where the working end is going around underneath itself over the top and then actually off to the working end itself. Now that we've done that the next thing I'm going to do is take the working end and pass it up through the handle of our button bu bucket or something similar and then once we've done that the next thing I want to do is take a bite in my working end at that point there and then that bite there I'm going to pass it up through that loop that I created at that point there and for those of you who recognize your knot you will see we've either done the bell ringers knot or half a sheep shank and all it leaves now to do this is it it's just simply done dress it pull it up nice and tightly and evenly and then once you've done that, pull it up nice and tightly and evenly, you can now see here that as I, let's just dress it up a little bit more, as I put tension on it, you can now see here, I'm pulling quite hard, in fact, as hard as I can on this, and it's not falling apart. However, once weight comes off this particular knot, it takes a little bit of a jiggle, you can now see that it's come undone and we've released our load and we can now lower something else. So that is version one, the less secure version of this particular knot. So the second version of the remote release lift hitch goes as follows. And this one, as I said, is a little bit more secure than the previous one, but hey, still a dangerous one to know. So do read that description. So the first thing we do to tie this particular version is we get hold of our working end and in our working end, all we simply do is pass the rope over itself at this point here, bring the working end round underneath that, through that loop we've created there. And as you can see now here, we've created the simplest knot in the world. Now that we've done that, we then take that working end and we pass it up through the handle of our bucket or whatever, and let's just bring enough through and now that we've done that the next thing I'm going to do exactly the same on the as the previous one is I'm going to roll it over so that I end up with the standing part is underneath the working end so it's going round over the top and then off to the working end of the right hand side and now exactly the same as the first one but this time we don't put a, a bite in our rope we then pass our knot through that loop that we've created there. So just pass your knot through that loop you've created and then pull it up nice and tight so that that loop is butting up nice and hard against the thumb knot that you created right at the beginning. And now that we've done that, you can now see as I pull up on that and you can see this one feels a little bit more stable than the previous version. However, the problem with this one is it does take a little bit more shaking to come undone, but once it's come undone, you can see your load is at the bottom. You can pull this up again and then lower something else using this knot. So once again, I advise you, read the description about the safety of this one. Thanks for watching.